Uh, former Republic of Ireland gaffer Mike O'Neill joined Jim White and Simon Jordan this morning and said there's no reason why Roy Keane shouldn't be in contention for the Irish job. He's been the assistant manager. He knows these players. He goes to a lot of football matches still. International management is totally and utterly different to club management in the sense that you have worked with the players for two or three days. This idea you're going to change the way that players play and the way that, the, the, you know, you're going to get them to control the ball and pass it and pass it. It's an absolute I myth. get that, but it's Roy the man. Why not? Why could he not exert that sort of passion that I believe that the Republic of Ireland probably need again? Apparently linked to the Welsh job in June. That came out last week. Uh, hasn't coached since 2019, Nottingham Forest. Is that is that a long time for a coach to be out of the game, do you think, or is that OK? I don't think it's different, if I'm honest. It's on there. Yeah, yeah. it's on there. Uh, That's yeah, Ryan's I'm... fault. Give Ryan a little <laughs> stare out. <laughs> don't forget the Nolan's microphone. Um, yeah, I don't think it makes much difference really I think obviously he's someone who's been involved in the game he's he's at every other game every week he's watching games in, in, in the Premier League I'm sure he keeps himself busy in, in, in during the week too uh, I've seen him at Salford games so I'm sure he's watching game after game anyway and he'll know a lot about the Ireland squad because of his passion for Ireland anyway um, yeah I mean I, I don't see why why he wouldn't be in contention. You played under him, of course, when mm. you were Sunderland. Yeah, but I mean, being a, not Sunderland at um, Villa. Villa, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, he's, he was assistant, wasn't yeah, he? Paul Villa, Lambert. Yeah, Paul Lambert. Sorry. I mean, he hasn't managed him over ten years. So that that's when we got okay. Football's moved mm. on, but again, I always felt like he not that he struggled, but he found it incredibly difficult when he was playing with players that weren't up to the level of what he expects. Now we used to do training sessions at Aston Villa, and a couple of simple passes that people would misplace, he'd lose his mind. He'd stop the session, he'd be screaming. And it's whether he can deal with that. If he could deal with that and obviously lower the, not the expectation, but the standard, you'd have to say. And that's no disrespect because he's mm. one of the best there ever do it. I think if he does that, I think he could be great. But again, I'm, I'm not quite sure whether, I mean, Ipswich Town was his last club as a manager, and that's 2011 he left. Mm. That's a long time ago. And football, you think about the, the evolution of football, it changes all the time. But, but do you think it makes a big difference <clears throat> from a day to day, as Martin O'Neill was alluding to, the day to day management to international? management yeah I think because you've got a you you know you've got a plan you've got lads for 10 days and and it's it's about them game that uh, the the game time how you work your way into them games what what you what you do between the two games you know because they become um match day plus one match day minus one all the way you, you know and it's 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 really you know you can go into so much detail but I, I don't know I think is he someone who can inspire the, the a lot of young lads now on this Irish squad I'm sure he will um, I, you know, I, I, I love them as a player. I was lucky enough to play against them a lot, you know, many times, and you know, sometimes got the better of them, which was always pleasing when you you're going away from the stadium. But um, yeah, I mean, look, what Bensi said makes sense, but you, you, you'd like to think that you know all them little bits where you, you used to get frustrated. I think after you've you've played and you, you you play or you you work with people who are probably not played at the the level you have, you've got to have a tolerance, and I'm, I'm sure. The older he's got, I'm, I'm looking at him now on Sky Sports. He seems a lot more relaxed and it, it seems to be able to tolerate a lot more. You know, you can see the relationships he has with Mika mm. on there. So, That's funny. Yeah, so to, to be fair, as he as he changed and wants that, I think the biggest thing is is if he puts himself up for that that job um, well, because I'm not too sure he, he, he would want it with what he's doing at the minute. What's the main difference between... The main difference between a manager and assistant manager. So your assistant at West Ham. Yeah, well, there's, them, there's yeah. a few of you, yeah. right? Which is, I think, quite unusual. Yeah. So apart from the obvious picking the team, do you have an input into picking the team at all? Yeah. Or does David Moyes come yeah. to you and says, "This is the eleven? No. Yeah, we speak about it all, all, all week, and then obviously he comes down to the final decision because he's the manager, he's the decision maker, and all we do is put our best, you know, opinion forward really, and what we believe is the best way to to go and win that weekend, whether it's. You know, we've got to nullify, you know, Man City and how we feel that best way in this formation, anything else. And then he takes all that into consideration and then he comes up and then we have to work off him and what he what he wants us to do. So for someone like Roy Keane, as Benny says, not managed since the Ipswich job, what, 12 years ago? 2011 he, he yeah. left there. That's a big step back into the game, isn't it? Yeah, and again, but I'm sure he'll put himself around play people who know the players, mm. who, who run the day-to-day running and training of it and he manages after that and makes the bigger decisions mm. in terms of team sh- team shape team you know team selection everything else and 
yeah, I'm, look, I, I, I don't think it, it makes a, a huge difference, I must admit. Okay. You got any Roy Keane stories you can take us into a break with? What's uh, your favourite f- one? To be fair, I mean, look, I, I, as I said before, I love playing against him, but there was one time we we played and we were at the Reebok. Uh, I scored. We we went. We were one all. Les Ferdinand scored in like the last minute. I think I remember that goalkeeper yeah. messed up, didn't he? Messed up. That's it, Benzie. <coughs> scored. We thought we'd won. I remember, and I just remember going back to the halfway line, and he was just standing there, absolutely rolling, and everyone saying, "We've still got time here." And then ended up, <laughs> ended up two two. And it just I went. You no, know, when you're walking off the pitch, like I said, when you know you've got the better of someone, or not the better of them, but you've won the game, and you can see how much it's hurt him. I just looked at him that day and I thought, wow, what a player. Because yeah. like, no matter what, he just didn't think he was beaten until um, the, that final whistle did, went. Did you relish Did you relish hard games like that against tough, tough op- opposition? Yeah, when you I saw the it. team sheet and you thought, Roy Kim, were you like, oh, oh, I can't wait for this? No, yeah, I loved it. I think Benzie will be the same. Mm. You know, you, you, when, you, when you know you're going up against a top-class individual, world-class players, there was nothing better because, you, mm. you know... Them little moments, what you're at against them, you think, yeah, you know, yeah. I've, I'm, I've done it, I've done something here well, and yeah. I've got I've got a bit of respect. But I mean, look, we we played in in an era where I think was probably the best the Premier League scene. Yeah, that's probably why I never made it as a proud look at the team. You go, Roy Key, I think we car still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I better sit this one out again. First. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.